Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy. Today's video is going to be a trash to treasure makeover on this nightstand. My dad found this one on the side of the curb getting ready to go out for garbage day. We examined it first to make sure that it was pretty clean and that there was no damage and it is in pretty good shape so we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a nice country chic makeover. Let's flip it. I start this makeover by removing the hardware. There was only one piece, so it wasn't that big of a deal, and there was actually only one screw. So we're gonna end up replacing the hardware. Then I take this outside, and I decided I wanted to have more of a natural finish on the top and the drawer fronts. So I use my mouse sander to sand the edges, and a lot of people ask me how I sand my edges, so I just kinda wanted to show you that just a cheap mouse sander really does the trick. Now I use my orbital sander to sand the tabletop, the flat part, and then the drawer fronts. And I'm using an 80 grit and I go all the way up to 180. And you, I have a video on that, I'll leave the link in the description box below if you wanna check that out on how I sand my tabletops. Then one of the really important steps is to make sure that if there's any dents or scratches that you fill them in. And I use my wood filler for this. And when it's dry, I come back and I just sand it nice and flat. And it's just part of good prep. So here I'm using Varathane's wood stain and it's an antique white. I'm using this stain because I'm trying to figure out how to lock in tannins without bleaching my wood. I don't wanna go through all that. And I don't wanna just seal it with wax because you know, I'm sell my stuff, so in a year from now, I don't expect my customer to re-wax their furniture. So I think a stain might work really well. It's almost like a pickled color or a liming color. Um, we're just trying to lighten it up. Now I go with my paper towel and I try to wipe the excess stain, and that wasn't working, so I went and got my lint-free cloth, and that seemed to work the best. And I'm loving this look. Now I bring my piece in the house and I need to clean the base. Um, so I'm using, of course, my white lightning and I just wash it down and then I rinse it with water afterwards. Now after looking at my top, I just feel like it's a little uneven and I'm not a huge fan. So I'm using my Dixie Belle's Driftwood color and I make a wash. And I have a thorough video on how I do a wash. I'll leave the link in the description box below. But this is basically it. I just water my paint down really well and then I put the paint over. You guys at this point know how much I just love my washes. <laughs> I use them all the time because when something doesn't look even or right, it's just the best camouflage. It adds just a little bit of color without you know covering the whole thing and it always gives me the look I'm going for. So it's a really great option if you have a hiccup or you know you feel like you're not loving your piece or it's missing something add a wash see what what you think <laughs> so now I take my rag and I just gently wipe the wash off and I kind of go in an even direction and then I added my wash to my drawer fronts which I'm so glad I did because they were looking kind of scary next I use Zinzer's bullseye shellac and I'm just gonna shellac the base everywhere that's brown because I wanna paint it in a nice light color and I don't want any tannins to come through. Shellac is oil-based, so I do recommend using a chip brush or something you can just throw away, even a sponge brush works. I always forget and then I end up tossing my brush or it takes so long to clean. But you can make it really easy and just apply it with a chip brush. And here I use my Dixie Belle mud because there was a little piece of wood missing and I must have missed it at the beginning. So then I just put my mud on. It's just kind of like wood filler. It's what I had um, closest to me. So I grab that and I fill in the hole and then wait for it to dry. It takes a little bit longer in my opinion than the wood filler, but it works just the same. And then I sand it off nice and even. And after you paint it, you would just never know there was a hole there.
So now I'm using my Dixie Bells Driftwood. I also use this for the top for my wash, but I wanna use this again for the base because it's just a nice light sort of country cottage feel, beech wood, it's really sharp. I think it'll go really nicely with the transfer we're gonna add. And now I'm using a redesign with Prima Transfer. It's called Violet Hill. We're just gonna cut a few pieces and put them on the drawer fronts. So I just cut it, I remove the backing, and then I place it where I want it to be. And then I press down, make sure the transfer's on there and there's no bubbles. And then you use the little stick that they provide in the tube to rub it on. I also have a video on how to um, put on a transfer, so I'll leave that in the description box below also. And so if you wanted to refer back to see exactly what I'm doing, you can see it in that video. So now we just peel back the front paper and it leaves the transfer on your furniture. Now I'm going to use my sanding pad and I'm just going to lightly sand over the top. You don't want to rip the transfer so you have to be gentle but you do want to make sure that there's no bubbles and that there's a little halo around it. If you just rub your sponge on the halo, the halo will disappear. This is the second transfer I'm adding to the top drawer. This transfer is in two pieces so I will apply the first piece and then after I remove it, I will line up the second piece and just put it right on. Now to finish, I seal with my Verithane's water-based polyurethane in satin, and I'm gonna do the entire piece, the top, the bottom, the base, over, the transfers, just everywhere. And I do two coats of this, waiting for it to dry in between coats. Before I bring this into my booth, I'm probably gonna add some drawer inserts. I think that will look really nice. And then I might do one or two coats of gator hide, but I really don't think it needs it because the wood is so natural and it's just stained. Um, I may just leave it with the two coats of satin. I'm not sure yet. So here it is all finished and I added these um, stainless steel cup pulls I got from Amazon. They were a great price and I did get I think 10 of them and I only used two so I'm sure you're going to see them in another project pretty soon. And my top came out. It looks really really even. No tannins came out so I'm happy about that. And if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.